Ashes of Creation started its development over seven years ago, with an original Kickstarter estimated release date of December of 2018. And here we are in 2023, still waiting for the game. Which is fine. Intrepid very clearly underestimated how complicated designing an MMORPG to this scale can be and is striving to give us one of the best MMOs to date. But with the years of transparent development and no release date in sight, Intrepid is starting to run into a bigger issue that could hinder its success. Back in 2016, the idea of an ever-evolving MMO where the players build the world was pretty much unheard of, with the complexity of nodes making every server different, open world castle sieges putting 500 players on a non-instance battlefield, and intense naval content, along with a whole lot more. It's no wonder Ashes of Creation broke Kickstarter records. But now, as the technology has advanced and more MMORPGs begin to pop up more than seven years later, these ideas may not be so far-fetched or as unique as they once were. By Intrepid standing by transparent development, they have been showing their progress and their ideas to the world for seven years, allowing for other developers to take what Intrepid has been working on and potentially add it to the games they are creating, changing it up a bit to work for what they are building. Although so far, we have seen very little success on this. But with MMORPGs with huge potential on the horizon, such as Throne in Liberty, Pax Day, and the Riot MMORPG, all of a sudden what has made Ashes of Creation special for so long and what has kept the hype going could be in danger. Pax Day will allow for players to create their own world in a sandbox style MMO where players will build the buildings and create each server. Throne in Liberty has the potential for massive open world castle sieges and open world dungeons and raids, and we have no idea what the Riot MMORPG will bring, as we have seen nothing on it. But Riot Games has a team of passionate devs behind it, already established lore, and a huge fan base, which already gives it the potential for being a huge success. So really, depending on when Ashes of Creation decides to present itself to the world, whether it's in 2024 or beyond, it now has the risk of having more competition and a higher chance at it is no longer the MMORPG that everyone flocks to, as they now have other new MMOs they like better to play. Not saying that Ashes won't be a success, because I firmly believe that it will be, but depending on when it releases, it could be less of a success as it once could have been. Something that I call the Crowfall Effect. For those of you who follow MMORPGs, you may have heard of Crowfall. It was a Throne War MMORPG where players would seek for control of the servers in All Out War, eventually leading to the server's life to end when certain winning parameters were met, and players would then bring their character to a new server to start the battle over again. The hype behind this was huge. It gained 1.7 million in Kickstarter way back when it started its development in 2015 with huge potential for players. And in a similar fashion as Ashes of Creation, it ran its alpha testing with no NDA, and they ran it for a very long time. Somewhere from 2016 to 2019 with a August of 2020 launch. And well, with a game that had so much hype behind it in its initial phase, its launch players peaked at about 3,100 active players. Which for an MMORPG, or really most games these days, is absolutely terrible. And now the game is dead, its server shut down on November 22nd of 2022, barely giving it a two year lifespan. So how does Ashes of Creation prevent itself from burning out the players and maintaining the hype? Well for starters, when Alpha 2 launches, Intrepid cannot run the Alpha for one to three years. That is way too long for public testing with no NDA in place and will kill the hype surrounding the game because by the time it launches, players will have seen almost everything the game has to offer and its core fan base, the ones who spent money to do the testing, will probably be pretty burnt out after testing for years, having all their progress wiped in the end and having to start over at launch. Intrepid also continues to show us things through their monthly development live streams, month after month, which I love. It gets feedback, it keeps the community engaged, but it also burns them out, because they feel like the game is further along than it should be with the constant stream of content, keeping the hype there constantly until it burns people out and kills the hype, and continues to disappoint them month after month when they don't get that Alpha 2 announcement. Which, unfortunately, there is only really one way to fix this, which would be to change up their development showcases from monthly to quarterly, giving a bigger update every three months instead of every month, or some other longer time frame, which as a content creator, focused mainly on Ashes of Creation, I would absolutely hate, but at the same time, 
it would give me a chance to forget about Ashes for a little bit and stop hoping for Alpha 2 to be right around the corner. But this would create another issue because Intrepid has committed to transparent development from the start and making a big change like this would upset a big chunk of the community and potentially hurt their image a bit. So really there is no good solution here but I do hope that while Intrepid has continued to state the game will be ready when it's ready that they know they can't carry development out forever and continue adding new things and updating graphics and engines and textures or they could potentially risk hurting the following of the game when it comes time for launch. Do you think that Intrepid could benefit from slowing down the showcases until Alpha 2 is closer? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.